Hi, I'm Nick, and I am making a video game. About a year ago, I decided it was finally time for me to make my own game. I've always loved indie games, and I had always kind of toyed with the idea of making something myself, but uh, I had never really put the effort into learning the skills necessary to make it happen. But about a year ago, I decided I was finally going to make the leap and start learning how to do this. And so I did. And it's been an awesome year. I've learned so much. I'm still learning every single day, still learning so many different things. Uh, and I'm excited to finally tell you guys a little bit about what I've been doing and what I've been learning. So this game that I've been working on for the last year or so is a top-down Metroidvania. If you don't know what that means, top-down just means a top-down view. Uh, you know, you're looking at the characters from above as opposed to from the side. And Metroidvania is a combination of the word Metroid and Castlevania. Those were two games from back in the day, smushed the names together because they had some similar genre elements. And really all it means is you have an open world, but areas are kind of sectioned off based on what abilities you have. So as you gain abilities, you unlock new areas with those abilities. Less about finding keys to doors, more about finding double jump boots to double jump up to the cliff, that kind of thing and by gaining different abilities, you expand your access to the map. So there's not a lot of games out there, as far as I'm aware, that have explored this idea of a top-down Metroidvania. Most are side view or 3D uh, games. What I'm looking to do is explore that a little more with kind of a bullet hell roguelike battle system, you know, something like Enter the Gungeon, if you're familiar with that game, kind of a top-down shooter game. Uh, but with the exploratory value of a Metroidvania. It's a pixel art style, low resolution, not gonna be flashy graphics or anything like that. But yeah, that's kind of the essence of the game. You play as a jellyfish loose in a laboratory, an underground laboratory. That's kind of the, the main gist of it. Uh, and I'll tell you more about that later, but uh, for now, that's the game. It's a top-down Metroidvania about a jellyfish. One of the things I've learned in working on this game is that it takes a lot to make a game. You gotta have art and programming and music and sound effects and all sorts of things that, you know, sometimes there are things that you don't think of until you've started to put like UI elements, right? So you, somebody's gotta make a menu for this game. And I guess that's me. If I'm the only one working on this game, then it's me, I gotta make it. So there's a lot of elements that go into making a game and it's gonna take a while, so I'm probably going to be posting updates here periodically over the next couple years before the game actually comes out. And hopefully you guys follow along and see the process as it happens. Uh, I'm not looking to post constantly, but occasionally you might see a video sharing a little bit about where we're at with the game and uh, just kind of what I'm learning in the process. So I'm gonna be working on this game for quite a while. Uh, I am actually going to be taking a quick break from it. I'm gonna be taking about two or three weeks to work on a game jam game uh, for the big mode game jam put on by Video Game Donkey, uh, working with a couple people, uh, mostly doing music and sound effects, uh, but maybe some pixel art as well. We'll see how it works out. Uh, we don't know the theme of the game jam yet, so we haven't been able to plan anything or put anything together yet, but we'll see what happens. And hopefully I'll be sharing, you know, how that goes and sharing that game with you guys in a little bit. Uh, and then also once that's done, after that I'll probably be posting about what this game even is, showing you guys some graphics and gameplay and stuff like that. So stay tuned, in a couple months I should have something I can show you guys. Uh, I'm really excited to show off this game to the world and to you guys and get some feedback and just start building an audience who might be interested in playing this game. And yeah, that's what this is all about. If you are interested, go ahead and subscribe. Um, in the future, there will be options to probably wishlist the game, um, things like that. That's how you can support the channel. Uh, otherwise, just stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated with new you know, music probably on the other channel as well and uh, new videos about the game as development continues. So thanks for your support and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thanks.